Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up or refill your Scotch ATG gun. First thing you'll want to do is press this section here to open up the lid. If you're filling this up for the first time, this is exactly how your ATG gun will look. If you're refilling it and you're just looking at this video for a refresher, all you'll need to do is remove the cog that's left here, open up this section and take off all the extra tape. So. This piece here is really easily removed. You just twist in the opposite direction to the open arrow. So you twist and lift. And you'll want to take that off first to set up your ATG gun. Then you'll take your tape roll and unwind a section. I like to do this first um, before I place it onto the um, gun. So it clicks in here. Doo -doo -doo. Just press that down. Oops. And you want to make sure that when you press that into place, that the tape, um, the sticky side of the tape is um, along the bottom here. You'll want to wind the tape up over this first cog, or this first roller, and then underneath this second roller. You then want to wind it right the way around, up and over the top. And there are direction arrows on the gun um, to help you with this, but it's it's nice to have a, a video version. So you'll want to stick it along the top here, and then wrap it around the bottom of this gun here. So you'll want to wrap it round, and you can see, I don't know if you can see with the lighting, there are some notches here inside of the um, inside of this cog or this circle section and you'll want to wrap the tape inside of those to make sure it's really secure and it's not going to shift and then as you press the release trigger it should run and you'll see that that's running in the wrong direction so you want to make sure that when you place the tape on you go over the top first and then inside and inside each of those little divots and round. You just want to press that into place. Now if you've done what I've done and you've unwound the tape too much so you have kind of this hangover here, you can just take a pair of scissors and snip that off so it fits nice and snug. And then again, just to test it, you'll press the trigger and see if that winds. And you can see now that that tape is going to wrap around there nicely. Now, to make sure the tape doesn't all bunch up and it wraps nicely, you want to take this section again, place it down on top, and it will fit where these two notches are here. So you'll want to place that in there, kind of give it a bit of a, a, bit of a wiggle so it's in the right place and then twist it to lock. It doesn't twist very far, it's just a really small twist. I hope you can see that, so that's closed and open, closed, open, closed. Okay, so it won't lift up, open it and it, it pulls off. So place that down, lock it into place, close this section up and there you have it, your tape gun is ready to use. Whenever you're using your tape gun, you'll squeeze the trigger here and it will run out a nice line of adhesive onto your card. So I don't know if you can um, if you can see that here. So you can kind of see that one in the middle there. And then all you want to do to stick something down to your project, it's got double-sided tape, so you can just press that down and you're good to go. I hope you found this helpful to uh, refill your ATG gun or to set it up for the first time. If you find that when you're using the gun um, you get a squeaking sound, some people find when they press the button and they run it, it's, it squeaks, you want to just open it up and make sure that everything's kind of lined up nicely, maybe wiggle around um, this section here maybe has come on unaligned or maybe down here um, it's not wrapping as tightly as it used to. Um, if you just adjust that slightly, the squeaking should go away. Thank you for watching.